for another experiment. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Now, Eamon, Dr. David has been telling us here that apparently scientists have even more tricks up their sleeves than magicians. Do you believe him? Yes, see. You're right to be sceptical. You're right to be sceptical. I can, however, do two really good tricks. All right? I can make this egg go into this bottle without touching it. I'm not going to force it in. Right? Hard boiled egg? Hard boiled egg. Can you, get, I mean, can you force well, it in? Well, not with like probably. Not without destroying it, right? Okay. Here's how we do it. You ready for this? <laughs> yeah. You're going to love it. <laughs> in we go. And. Okay, so what's happening? Our little egg is acting like a valve. The atmosphere inside is heating up, being pushed out around the egg, and it's not allowing any to come in. Eventually, the atmosphere is much uh, lower than outside, so it pushes it in the bottom. The real trick is really getting the back real right, trick, though, isn't it? Well, that's the prestige. That's the one where you get it back at the end. You know, this is your party trick, then, This is the it? party trick, and it's disgusting. And I can't recommend it. Anyone does it. <laughs> You're doing All you gotta do is blow good and hard. No one should have to do that in life. Either. No, but well done, Dr. David. I think that's very impressive. Okay. Yeah, we like those tricks. Egg in a bottle. Egg in a bottle. Egg in a bottle. I can go one step further than that, and I can make a cloud in a bottle. I did and hear something about a cloud, and this is one I made earlier. Of this experiment. What we have here is a little uh, bottle and it's got water in it and it's been pressurized to 45 psi. And I am going to magic a cloud into it. Are you ready? Cloud in a bottle. <laughs> and there we go. Can, can everyone see the cloud? Ah! <laughs> He's even watering himself. And what this is, this is exactly the same thing that happens in nature. On a nice warm, uh, sunny day, lots of humidity, whenever the pressure drops, you get lots of clouds and mist. Eggs, clouds, you know what all, don't you? Well done, thank you very much, Dr. David. Yeah. It's simple science for everyone, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm enjoying this, I'm enjoying this, it's very, very good. Yes, thank you very much, Eamon. We are in our scientific lab with our resident scientist, Dr. David Booth, ladies and gentlemen. Save the applause for later. Yeah. That's all can I call you Dr. David? You can call me whatever you Dr. want. Dr. David, I like whatever that. You want. I like the sound of that. Okay, what's up first? First thing I've got for you, because it's close to Valentine's Day, I've got you a little rose. You romantic. I, no. I no, 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 no. <laughs> Just to prove it is a real rose. Yeah, it feels like a that rose. That is a real rose. Can I'm I verify make, no, you can't. No, 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 no. I'm going to make you a special version of a rose. You're going to love it. You're going to love this. You're going to love it. I should put my goggles on for this. I, I would, yeah. It's a winter rose. A winter rose? A winter rose, yeah. And why is it called a winter rose? Because it's frozen solid. <laughs> it's at minus, <laughs> minus 200 degrees C. It's very brittle, so don't bash it around too much. If you want to keep it, don't hit it on that table. <laughs> <laughs> Just to prove the point. <laughs> the number of times a girl has done that on me. Oh, <laughs> Dr. David, per you, per so, you. So what is in this? Explain well, to us. What's in this? We have liquid nitrogen in this Dewar flask here, and it's at minus 200 degrees C. Now, obviously, at room temperature, it's a gas. It's 80 percent of our atmosphere. We breathe it all the time. But when it's a liquid, it's at minus 200, and it allows us to do cool things with stuff. Okay. So there's lots of different things you can do with this, though, not just freezing things. No. Okay. What else? Well, aside from destroying foliage, <laughs> which is a, a personal trick of mine, we can also demonstrate high technology like the magnetic levitation train, the bullet train. Bullet trains, of course, yeah. Of course, that you get in Japan. Okay. So what we have here, in this little dish, is a superconductor and a magnet. All right. Now, and this is really how the trains this work. Is this, exactly this, how, kind of... this is exactly how, this is exactly how maglev trains work, yeah. So we'll just... Ooh, <laughs> gloves on. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. <laughs> Dr. David says so. Yeah. So what we're doing here, we're chilling down this uh, superconductor, and what, what they found was in 1913, whenever you chill down certain metals, they had zero resistance to electricity. And this particular one here, when we chill it down, what happens is it does a very special thing to magnets. Now, let's hope. Oh, we need a wee bit more. A little bit more, yeah. okay. I will be very impressed if this works, you know. I, I, hope, you, I hope so too. I keep stepping back every time. Don't I, I love the effect. 
Well, what's happening with these little droplets here, they don't flow like water. Whenever they hit the desk, they heat up and they create a little pocket of nitrogen underneath, so they just slip out all over the place. It's great, As though it? there's, uh... It snows everything. Well... <laughs> Some people might say it's a know-it-all, you know, and that's not so good. Oh, uh, yeah, things are starting to do what they're supposed to, so push this button good and hard. Wow! That really is It's really levitating. So what the superconductor is doing point. is it's actually excluding the magnetic field of the of the magnet. Can you see that, everybody? Wow, excellent. No strings, no, no strings. camera trickery or anything. That's the real McCoy. Just good old-fashioned science. And we are liking it. There you go. You see, Eamon, levitation is no big deal after all, is it? No. See, it's, 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 like, it's like magic, Christine. It is really, isn't it? It's beautiful. What did you think? I've got to disagree if you say it's magic. I, it's not magic. It's science. That's what it's all about. Really? Magic is just common parlor trickery. That's it. Yes. They're all charlatans. It kind of reminds me of that scene from Back to the Future, remember, with the ho hovercraft? The hoverboards? Thing, oh, yes. you can't beat that. I always wanted one of those as a kid. Yeah. But having said that, whenever I watched Back to the Future, I didn't want the hoverboard, I wanted the time machine. Dr. David Wood, wouldn't I? Yeah, you've oh. got to have it. I mean, that's the way it's all about. Okay, it's all about the science. There you go then. Levitation, easy. Yeah. <laughs> well, if he's that good, David will make that happen later on. I so wish. Yes, good, good, good. The appliance of science. On to round two now. And it's... <laughs> Cheers, Dr. David. I'm liking the glamorous science life. I'm afraid we have to save the drinks for afterwards. <sighs> yeah. Well, Work ways. before pleasure. There is a bucket here in case you think he's just pouring it on my feet. Yeah. <laughs> there is. It did splash over, however, but anyway, yes, well, carry doing, on then. We're going to do some forensics, all right? Nowadays, we use DNA to identify people. Old school forensics involve fingerprints, right? What happened was when you picked up this glass, your finger left a nice indelible print on it, okay? Why did it do that? Well, if you look at your thumb, you got lots of little folds. They're called thermal papillae, which means skin fold. Showing off now, yeah, yeah, it's all Greek. Um, so what we're going to do now is dust for a fingerprint on that. And all we need is some fine powder. We're going to use talc and a bit of black card to show it up at the end. All right, so when you're doing it yourself, and you can do this at home, the more mess you make, the better. All right? But don't tell anyone I told you to do that. All right, so we dump so dust over ordinary dust powder. Just and you can rub it in a wee bit, just don't do too much damage to it, and then brush it off. And what you should see there, before your very eyes, is a fingerprint appearing. I can actually see it. You can see that, can't yes, you? Yes, I can. Yeah. yeah. Now for us to actually see it, we're going to lift it off with a bit of tape. All right, are you ready for this? Go for it. Delicate work. I see this, yes. All right. Just like that. Button. And there we go. A lovely fingerprint. There we go. Can you see that, everybody? My fingerprint. <laughs> Little tip, wear gloves when out on a date with Dr. Davis. Hey. Okay. I come with a warning label. <laughs> <laughs> right, carry on then. What else have you got for Okay, us? so if you do get collared, you get identified, you're going to want to get away. Best way to do that is to become invisible. Right, okay. Right. A bit vague of this. A bit of physics at work here. To become invisible, you either have to stop reflecting light or stop refracting light. Okay, now reflecting, bouncing off, refracting, bending as it goes through. I can show you how to make something become visible for your eyes right now. Come on then. Here's some thermal glassware with vegetable oil. All right. If we look through that, ordinary vegetable oil. Yeah. Ordinary vegetable oil that you can get from the shop shop. You can see that it's bending. All right. Yes, now that's yeah. refracting light. Now, if we take a smaller bowl, exact same type of glassware again. Are you ready we, for this? Are you ready for this? You're not going to believe your eyes. Ooh, it's vanishing. All right, do you see that? I can, yeah. Can you all see that? You, okay. you can see something go invisible. Technically, yeah. yes. <laughs> well, what's happening here is light's coming in. It's bending as it hits the glassware. It goes into the oil, and it doesn't bend because that is the exact same properties as the glassware itself. Okay. So if it doesn't bend light, you can't see it. So if some very smart scientist like yourself, why can't you use this simple method and try and make us all invisible? Allergic to vegetable oil. I'm allergic to oil. I wish I could, but I can't. Yeah, okay. That's very impressive. Do you agree, folks? Yeah. I'm liking that one, yeah.